Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. He crashed his snowmobile and was trapped, pinned under the machine for hours. A Lakewood man thought he wouldn't make it until he heard the sound of another snowmobile. Mountain News reporter Jamie Leary is live tonight. And Jamie, it is incredible that this man was found. It really is, and the friend that he was with had organized a quick search, but they were losing light fast. The man who actually found him was out just for fun and had no idea that somebody was missing. We talked to that missing snowmobiler today who is alive and well. He says that his body was frozen. He had been trapped there for hours, and the weather was getting worse. If they had the exact same radio, but unfortunately no one carries these anymore. So. Being in that pit for about two or three hours, you do start to get pretty cold. Um, blizzard was moving in, temperatures are dropping. It was approaching three hours. Lance McGinn was pinned under his snowmobile in a tree well. He thought he might die. And I was shaking uncontrollably. He'd been exploring away from his friend when he hit a wind drift. And it tipped the sled and flipped the sled upside down on me. Because he was still tethered to it, the sled ran for six minutes before shutting off, throwing snow and exhaust in his face. While snow was uh, in my helmet, I was trying to clear it as best I could because my hands were literally out here and I couldn't reach. So I was clawing with my fingers. His panicked friend radioed him, so he tried to reach for his radio. I made one last effort, hit the cord, and ripped the wires out of the handset. And at that point, it was radio silence. Ken Russell was visiting from Texas and had no idea there was a search going on. He was arguing with his wife about riding in a blizzard. Something's just making me go out. I got to go out. On his last lap, he spotted McGinn's sled. So I did a 360 and came back around, and then I could see these legs kicking underneath there. And I turned my snowmobile off and I heard this shouting, help me, help me. He said, are you search and rescue? He said, no. And I'm like, well, you must be my guardian angel today. So I lifted it up about 12 to 15 inches on that end of it. And so, which, which means on the front end is about six inches, just enough for him to slide out. And he got out, his hands were just like this, a ball of ice in his gloves. McGinn was cold and tired, but alive. I think we both came to the realization that he had one mission to go out there, and that was to find someone, and luckily enough, it was me. McGinn and Russell have plans to ride together again later this year. Uh, McGinn has said he's invested in a Garmin GPS device that can actually have someone pinpoint your location, even if you are incapacitated. He says he's also learned a lot about communication, making sure people know his planned route next time and when he's expected to be back. We're live in Summit County. Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.